and welcome to my channel being announced thank you so very much for being with me here today today I am doing your next 48 hours or weekend reading so this is for the Aries collective Sun Moon Rising and Venus I'm just going to moisturize my hand I have been doing readings and um, yeah if you'd like to order organic body oil face oil um, email me these are all organic cold press made in Melbourne handmade in Melbourne with lots of love by me um, I have been making this since 2017 and um, I'm also a healer and I have been working with essential oils and done a number of courses um, where which embodies the essence and the potency of these high vibe products they smell amazing and I don't know if you've been following me for a while you knew that I had all these red um, these two fingers were really swollen look this this is this is the only product I've been using and my fingers are back to normal you can see they look um, they look the same so yeah it works alrighty so today I'm going to be working with the this particular deck and the way this reading is going to be quite different to how I normally do my readings which is what came up in meditation before starting this reading so what's the recent past energy for Aries recent past energy for Aries this is 5th and 6th of August is when this reading is for are there about so 48 72 hours what's the current energy for Aries current what's coming towards Aries what's coming towards Aries coming towards Aries what perfect so let's start with recent past so in the recent past Wow so in the recent past we've got the seven of um, wands so seven of wands is saying to me that th there has been a situation which has required you to really stand your ground and be firm in your boundaries and what you believe in this was something that really was making you restless and um, you know for some of you I feel like this was going on for a while which required you to go back and forth tap inwards trust your intuition come back to your center and required a lot of healing and you've really healed from this situation and essential, essentially walked away. You had to walk away from a person, place or situation. And in order to do that, it has been a very healing process for you. But at the same time, this has allowed you to stand your ground. So I really love this because it's almost like whatever you've walked away from, you've truly now, you've truly now walked away from that situation. It wasn't easy it required a lot of healing but you've done the work and you've really stood your ground so I almost I love this because this has allowed you to stand your ground stand stay firm in what it is that you believe is right and true for you so this is in your recent past energy so I'm going to place these cards so that you can reference them as I'm doing this reading your current energy whoa this is huge Aries oh my goodness so your current for for some of you your present energy is an ending so you somebody here is going through a very painful cycle again i feel like some this is something long term so i'm sending you or if this is you i'm sending you all the love and a big hug your way i know how difficult endings can be but i also want to say that until it's only with endings that we can allow new beginnings and I, I have to say that I feel like for somebody here whatever this ending was you were feeling stuck for a very long time you felt bored you felt stagnant this energy was just I feel like saying eating eating you eating up at you from inside you know it was something that you couldn't really see how can you solve this how can you solve this and um, now either it's come to a natural end or you have been a catalyst to end this now what I love with this is um, this card here which is the game changer the game changer is as this ending whatever it was needed to happen for this to come into your world without this ending this new fast moving energy could not come into your world so this in the next 48 to 72 hours there will be some news communication very fast moving for somebody here actually I was holding the card um, upside down so apologies I just realized that I'm like why is that 
why does that look like that on camera <laughs> so i do apologize um so something fast moving is coming and remember we are entering like when i saw that this is the lion's gate portal energy coming back so again if you didn't know i'm running a 88 lion's gate portal activation um, it's $8.80 investment offering blessing and I will be doing a prayer blessing all the things if you need information let me know um, it is great if you want to manifest abundance wealth Lakshmi into your world the new job if you're working on a business if you've had you know been stuck financially could be you know this ending could also be somebody leaving their job feeling stuck in their job no not going anywhere you know with their job just feeling like it's boring same old same old and as soon as you make the decision that right i'm going to look for new jobs boom you did it again boom as soon as you decide make a decision it's sometimes it's as simple as making the decision that i'm going to look for another job you go online you start applying boom you get interview calls and the next minute you already get the new job you know so I, i'm seeing that kind of swiftness in energy with this eight of wands i'm really loving this so um this is in your so what is coming of course oh my golly gosh like you can't make this stuff up even if i tried look what's coming magician so spirit here is saying this weekend be careful about where you are putting your attention energy because your manifestation powers are absolutely heightened especially when you're walking away from things and you've had an ending so that is why i'm saying be careful of don't dwell in the past if you really work on healing and self-love and nurturing yourself if you need the time and space with the magician card but what i love with the magician card is aries you standing in your power like this next 72 hours this is powerhouse this is the queen of wands and the magician card coming up you are creating magic you are magnetic you are attracting you are attracting people places and attend with these two this is like be careful of what you are attracting we are in venus retrograde and the queen of wands is highly magnetic so be careful not to keep repeating past cycles especially with the eight of cups if you've walked away from something be careful not to walk back into it or call it back into your world especially with being so magnetic magnetic and the magician card because your med manifestation is heightened uh, and on the other hand hand if you've truly completed the cycle with the ten of swords and you are moving forward with the eight of wands energy this is where if you want to create business a new job a new relationship you really can call it into your reality and this is whatever you're going to call call into your reality is going to stick aries this is your energy all over this is fire 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 all over i'm loving this reading for you especially we have the knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles may be a slow moving knight but with this trilogy with this trilogy like trying to put this card here there we go put the king of the queen of wands in the center because that's how she was um in the reading so i just want to hold these cards up with this energy right here to me whatever you are creating whatever you're manifesting is going to be long term it's going to stay it's going to stick this is something that's going to be here for the long haul because the knight of pentacles might be a slow moving knight but it's a commitment it's solid it's stable it's going to stay it's not going to be here it's not the knight of wands that's hot and cold right this is someone that's building something slowly slowly planting the seeds it might not you may not see not see the growth immediately but there is promise for the future and there's longevity and stability with this knight of pentacles so i'm really really loving this vibe for your next 72 hours um aries let's see if there's any advice for you is there any any, any advice yeah temperance so balance make sure you have balance this weekend balancing your energy your time energy space with who you're spending time with and also be careful of getting into again this is the magician card all over you know getting into the uh, wounded warrior vibe um you know the pity party is what i want to say that be careful not to get into that pity party mode because that's what you're going to manifest and then you'll repeat the cycle again which is what you don't want to do be in the queen of wands you are magnetic you are attractive 
you are attracting people, places, and experience to you. Create the ma magic because you've got the magician. I mean, what a powerhouse, what a rating, what a what what an amazing epic next 48 to 72 hours you have to look forward to aries claim this in comments and make it yours and um please do hit the like button if you haven't already and consider subscribing i do do these readings daily your likes comments cost you absolutely nothing but helps me with the youtube algorithms which i have zero control over so thank you if you'd like a personal reading donate to my channel or connect with me on tiktok instagram all the information is in the description box and if you'd like the 88 portal as well let me know um, I would love to have you in that I will be doing a ritual for um, for everyone that signs up to that I will be doing a prayer a blessing and an offering for the 88 portal so if you'd like to be involved in that let me know thank you so much for being here I will see you next time